मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग सर सर कैन वी स्टार्ट द सेशन ओके वी आर कैन वी स्टार्ट द सेशन हां वर्तमान विल स्टार्ट द सेशन राइट नाउ शुड आई स्टार्ट द सेशन नो जस्ट वेट फॉर अ मिनट प्लीज स्टार्ट ओ वेट वेट प्लीज वंस अगेन आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू द सेशन एंड प्रोफेसर विजय मिश्रा हैज given a excellent talk on seven may on indian tourism i will be in the british raj you know this kind of people who do this happen on the आइडियोलॉजीज ऑफ ब्रिटिश राज here i want to tell something about the introduction that uh, the, uh, that the process of territorial acquisition in india by a body of british merchants had transformed the east india company into a ruling power the resultant colonies encounter was not simple process as a large number of indigenous rulers lost their power at the same time the cultural element present in the colonizer society permeated the recipient colonial society in the context of a subordinate subordinate relation the colonizers possessed superior technology and military force which could be used to crush any form of opposition however the sordid and seamy side of colonization necessitated that an ideological justification of the colonial rule also be provided the correlation between ideology and policy making had further co- configuration because of the size and diversity of india political exigency and the fact that the british preferred to utilize their energies in gathering information that immediately pursuing their grand design of political domination added to the complexion so in this unit we will uh, come for, uh, come to see there are different strands like uh, orientalist evangelical the romantic theory so now now i am requesting uh, lakshmi sir to start the session and uh, learners please uh, listen carefully what uh, sir is saying and at the end you can ask your question okay sir okay sir now we can start the session okay uh, so um uh, very good morning to all of you and uh, uh, today i will uh, virtually discuss uh, about uh, this ideologies of the british raj and uh, which virtually helped uh, the britishers uh, to sustain their rule in india and uh, this is a very interesting topic and uh, 
what we have uh, studied uh, from our textbooks uh, uh, they had uh, uh, followed the different policies at the different periods of time and uh, uh, you know that uh, the british east india company came here as a trading company it was uh, developed into a power and uh, then uh, three things uh, virtually uh, covered the uh, whole period of indian history from 1757 to uh, 1947 roughly about uh, uh, so the 190 years and uh, uh, so the three things one is the power second is the domination and the third is the hegemony these are the three things which uh, virtually characterized uh, their policies uh, uh, towards the uh, Indian subjects. I tell you, British Indian subjects, uh, because uh, uh, I say British Indian subjects, because uh, uh, you know that, uh, so the, if I uh, go back to the uh, writings of James Mill, uh, the uh, so-called the past history of uh, India, that is the history of British India. Uh, the project uh, started in 1806 by James Mill and uh, uh, the uh, first volume came to be published in 1818. And uh, so the, uh, uh, this became a standard textbook uh, so the, to be used by administrative historians and uh, administrator historians uh, who used the same uh, for uh, so the making them understand about Indian society, Indian people, marital and relations uh, as was existing in India. And uh, you know that uh, during 190 years uh, of their rule in India, they had uh, developed uh, different policies at uh, different uh, periods of time. And these uh, policies were uh, uh, being molded by certain ideologies which they evolved over the time. And uh, these ideologies influenced them, the uh, British scholars, uh, to uh, frame their policies, uh, to enact laws, uh, and to uh, empower the British administrative, uh, uh, so the organizations and uh, the personalities involved in the uh, British administration. And uh, you know that, uh, so the, uh, during the time of Lord William Bentick, uh, who was the Governor General of India between 1835 to 1829 to 1835, uh, there were only uh, so the 5,000 Europeans living in India and managing this uh, whole Indian subcontinent. And if we come over to uh, 1901, uh, roughly about uh, uh, so the uh, roughly about one lakh fifteen thousand Europeans were managing 30 crore population of India. Uh, so the, uh, they could be able to, so 1,15,000 people managing 30 crore population, uh, so the, it was a very difficult task. And uh, so the, had there been unity among Indians, uh, so the, the 30 crore population of India could have taken 10 minutes uh, to throw them into the Bay of Bengal or Arabia. Uh, but that didn't happen. And uh, so the, you know that they developed a, uh, so they developed a mechanism in which uh, they solicited uh, the uh, support and uh, they solicited the loyalty of some of the sections of the Indian population. percentage of population 
एवं यदि भारतीय मैंने कन्सलटेटली चाहे था दस मिनिट भितर बांधी बुद्धि कि आरबीएन सी रे फॉरवर्ड दे पर था दे किंतु सेमडे किसी को टिला नाही एंड बिकॉज दे फॉर्मुलेटेड पॉलिसीज एंड दे वर्चुअली क्रिएटेड सेक्शंस ऑफ द पीपल हु वुड सपोर्ट देम इन देयर वेंचर एंड सुदी होएबर सुदी पर्टिकुलरली दे डेवलप्ड आइडियोलॉजीज and ideologies virtually influenced uh, uh, the law makers in framing laws for the country and uh, time and again uh, they revised their policies and they uh, resituate they try to resituate themselves in the changing circumstances you know that the east india company uh, virtually 1857 percent of so they maintained uh, the they, they maintained the empire uh, through superior technology and uh, so the military force uh, which uh, was uh, developed by them and military force ko dekhila bolo ko so the higher uh, hierarchy jo mane so the upper layers of officers mane thile se mane संख्या बहुत कम था इंडियन मान संख्या जथेष्टी Uh, ma'am i think sir got disconnected kindly continue the session i'll just ask him to reconnect बोधे प्रोफेसर मिश्र डिस्कनेक्ट हो जाइए लेट्स वेट फॉर सम टाइम एंड आवर मॉडरेटर मॉडरेटर यू कम हेलो ओके यस सर ओके थैंक यू डिस्कनेक्ट नेटवर्क प्रॉब्लम कम कर uh in any case uh, so the uh, they had uh, during the entire period of 190 years uh, they had uh, developed a different ideologies the so, ideology kahile kon ame bujba ideology kahile we believe in a set of ideas which were uh, so the which were virtually formed by the british about india Uh, the subcontinent, uh, particularly its uh, geography, climate, uh, the people, uh, their history, uh, their culture, uh, so the customs, uh, traditions, uh, is about. Uh, so the ideas about India. 
so different ideas so ideology means uh, a set of ideas uh, as the uh, british government uh, virtually east india company followed by the uh, british raj in india uh, so the after 1858 we find a different ideological strands were taken up by the uh, so the office by the uh, government in order to shape their policies and uh, i can name here so the uh, so the i can name the ideas uh, one is orientalist idea the second is uh, the utilitarian idea third is uh, liberalism the idea of liberalism and uh, uh, the first is orientalism second is evangelicalism evangelicalism is all about the missionary ideas missionary ideas and the civilizing missions of the missionaries in india and what they wanted from india and then the utilitarian uh, so the utilitarian idea which talks about the utilitarian idea basically talks about the greatest happiness of the greatest number of the people and where individualism or individual happiness is virtually uh, reduced to uh, the lowest level then we have also the romantic ideas romantic ideas are outcome of the enlightenment tradition of historiography which was uh, developed uh, during 17th century and uh, it uh, virtually contributed significantly in the shaping the historiographical Uh, strands in europe the way 17th or 18th century historiography ko ame enlightened historiography ame kahi thau ebon ta pore pore romanticism asuchi and uh, then we come across the uh, liberal projects or the liberal ideas ideas of liberalism and uh, so the ideas of liberalism and uh, that we shall discuss and uh, then comes uh, positivism positivism which uh, was advocated uh, by the uh, by uh, leopold von ranke and others and also we find uh, the ideas of john locke being embedded in such uh, ideas uh, so the finally the ideas of uh, humanism so these ideas were developed by the british uh, so first of all coming over to you know that the very from the very beginning the british have had developed an opprobrious perception about india it is uh, they developed an opprobrious perception about india they knew that uh, there are a lot of similarities uh, between the indian population and the european population and they knew that both the groups of people had a common origin and they had aryan aryan origin and uh, so the uh, roughly about uh, 1000 uh, sorry 2000 uh, bc uh, the migration uh, started from central asia and uh, one group went to europe and the other group entered into india and uh, so the Uh, in the levels of civilization the people who entered into europe uh, they virtually contributed uh, significantly for the progress of their civilization but uh, the uh, so the in india the aryans uh, failed to uh, so the uh, failed to progress and uh, the progress was arrested at its uh, very beginning at its very beginning and the ancient uh, is uh, some some a, a broad sense but uh, this was uh, degraded and degenerated in due course of time and uh, because of reasons which are not been clearly explained uh, by the historians so coming over to uh, so the you know that uh, from the time of warren hastings uh, Uh, so the virtually we find uh, problems uh, being faced uh, by the uh, british officials uh, in collection of revenue 
collection of revenue and uh, so the uh, virtually uh, the initial years particularly uh, so the from the time of our nestings we find one of the ideas so the influencing the decisions of uh, governor general sir jolas the uh, british uh, board of directors of east india company uh, to understand uh, the details about the taxation structure in india the legal uh, structures in india and so from the time of warren hastings scholars were engaged for the purpose of collecting information and this information about india is broadly categorized in one of the themes that is orientalism orientalism means so you know that uh, uh, so the we use the term uh, orientalism to discuss about uh, the uh, knowledge about the entire east which include not only india but also the whole of asiatic continent uh, starting from turkey turkey syria iraq iran india so the pakistan afghanistan china japan so the entire east entire east so orientalism about the is about the whole ideas about the whole uh, asiatic continent or the countries uh, so the existing in the east and uh, so the they developed the idea the orientalist uh, scholars developed the idea that this is an exotic land this is a land of miracles and monsters monsters and uh, however uh, so the uh, the people are uh, so the backward uncivilized culturally backward inferior in uh, terms of uh, so the knowledge and uh, so the uh, they are uh, uh, virtually uh, so they are they are effeminate in uh, uh, so the character and uh, so the in any case uh, but uh, whereas uh, the britishers uh, were called to be uh, so they were described as honest laborious hard working rational enlightened one and uh, so the uh, whereas indians are described as a deceitful lazy feminine mane feminine means a feminine irrational superstitious and so on this is the oriental perception about the indian uh, so the indian people and uh, so many scholars were uh, engaged for Uh, so the collecting information and to know about the man land relationship such was existing in indian subcontinent we have the number of orientalist and administrative uh, administrator scholars they are like william jones william jones is the foremost among the uh, so the uh, orientalist uh, scholars and uh, prior to that in 1780 we find uh, one person whose name is uh, hal head hal head uh, wrote a book uh, called as uh, gentoo lodge gentoo lodge means hindu lodge g e n t o o e boyte selekitle hindu lodge gentoo se karano se tole e jo spelling error se gudi ko asuchi karano se mane jemti sunu chanti semti se mane lekho chanti karano they do not have any translators at that point of time in any case uh, so the william so the uh, virtually uh, william jones uh, took the lead uh, in establishing because of the patronization received from warren hastings so that william jones is establishing as asiatic society of bengal in 1780 4 and uh, he had a well band of uh, scholars and colleagues of his own who are paul brook william carey uh, so the h h wilson james prince apan mane janithebe je james prince pouchanti the person who contributed significantly for unraveling the past of india and particularly the history of india during the ashokan period 
এবং জেমস প্রিন্সেপ যদি অশোকা নে টেক্সট গুড গো ডিসাইফার করিতেলে ডিসাইফার করিতেলে এন্ড ইন 1837 এন্ড টিল 1837 নো ওয়ান ইন দি ওয়ার্ল্ড নিউ এনিথিং अबाउट অশোকা এন্ড अगेन দি নেম অশোকা ওয়াজ অলসো no so they was also not mentioned in the works so they during 19th century 19th century ra kono si bahire ashokan kar naam adyo lekhai nahi kebal lekhai chi to the devanam priyo priyadarshi devanam priyo priyadarshi devanam priyo priyadarshi bi no hai and no hai kai ki na pali lang prakrit script re रवहार ना जो धर्म जगह धम पढ़ु धम अशोक धर्म नुहे इन एनी केसरफुल पर्सन एंड सुधी हाउ एवर दि स्कर्स एंड कलेज सुधी विलियम जो देचुअली ट्राइ टू डिस्कवर दि पास्ट अफ इंडिया past of india and they virtually metaphorically invented the existence of a golden age in ancient times they described uh, uh, so they uh, described the samudra gupta as indian napoleon and uh, they described uh, the golden age of ancient india gupta is being described as the golden age of ancient india and so golden age concept which is now being challenged vartaman golden age ko ame so the golden age sab re ame consider karuna hum karan se tamra economic crisis ame witness karchu and decline of trade madhya ame dekho chu and moreover this is the time when uh, so the when the administrators thought that uh, the knowledge of the vernacular languages vernacular mane local sadharana lokomana kor language sadharana odisha re odia kouchanti bengal re bengali kouchanti maharashtra re marathi kouchanti ki gujarat re gujarati kouchanti eguda kala vernacular tracks ipo e local language odiko na bujile ame lokomana kor confidence ku nijo pakku ku ani pariba nahi लोक कहीं संस्कृत and uh, going over to south india in tamil telugu kannad malayali so the itar madhya lekhai chi and uh, virtually uh, the colonial administrators uh, uh, so the colonial administrators of the initial period they wanted to establish a command over command over the indigenous languages indigenous mane uh, so the local language and to know about the history and the culture of the people and uh, virtually uh, so the we find a number of books uh, being published uh, uh, published uh, by different uh, scholars who are the colleagues and the friends of william jones who was the father of asiatic society of bengal like that of grammar of persian language uh, the grammar of the vernaculars halets grammar of bengali and uh, even if uh, so the gilchrist uh, who was a medical practitioner and uh, he also learned uh, hindustani literature and language and uh, in 1800 ad and when lord wellesley was the governor general of india he established uh, the fort william college at calcutta fort william college and this college was established for the purpose of training the students particularly the administrators uh, so the in a persian language sanskrit language as well as the vernacular languages 
तबे सुधे ये जो फोर्ट विलियम कॉलेज कल कंट्रे एस्टेब्लिश है ला और थर्ड समस्या एस्टेब्लिश है ला शितरे सांस्कृत पर्सियन ए पोपरना कुलर सूडी को पढ़ा जाओ तला जेहतु सुधे दी ब्रिटिश और सर्दे सक्सेस और सर्दे मुगल एम्पायर और दी मुगल डायनेस्टी एंड दी Mughal records were all kept and Mughal transactions were being carried out in a Persian language. So the knowledge of Persian was uh, damn required. And so, say that the Persian language is a language of language. And so, the, however, Warren Hastings had, uh, sorry, Hastings. Had uh, developed the uh, so the Hastings had developed the principle of governance. So the in India is to be based on Indian principles and uh, particularly in uh, rela relating to the law. That is why so the Indian legal system legal system as was existing during the time of the Mughals and which was uh, prevalent and still continuing. से गुड़ी का मध्यां, तो दिसे संपर्क करे नॉलेज ज्ञातर करीबा मध्यां से मानकर मुख्य ऑब्जेक्टिव ब्राह्मिला, एंड तो दिस हाउ ए बरे लॉर्ड डाइजेस्ट वाज रिटेन, एंड इट वाज रिटेन इन 1798, एंड इन राइटिंग दैट तो दिस लॉर्ड डाइजेस्ट परचोली दे टू दे हेल्प uh, so the uh, the help of the Molobis as well as the Pandits. The be ajo Lord Digest as of this semane Pandite bo Molobis manankara. So the Sajjo neithile a Lord Digest tiku theory kori ba pahi. The be a Lord Digest theory kai ki kora gala. Kai ki na ajo Hindu e bo Muslim priest mane semane mislead koru thile. Misled Kortle British government ko and uh, so they, however, Sati Pai Samaranda law digest because you know that once law is codified, everything would be transparent. So the uh, slowly you will see that uh, uh, so the, uh, they will uh, reform their ideas and uh, they would revise their ideas and uh, ultimately codify. The Indian Penal Code in 1860, and in any case, in the courts, jaha court thila district le pule court thila. Sir, thale Odisha re matro thinda district thila. Dhoron to Odisha re example le aaja thinda district thila. Baleswar, Kota, Ganpuri, and so the in any case, Hindu and Muslim legal legal advisers were so they attached to the. Uh, British Indian courts until 1860s when Indian Penal Code was compiled after the Macaulay's Commission to so the recommended for the enactment of a Penal Code to so the Penal Code. So the, however, the knowledge of Indian languages uh, virtually helped the British administrators in intervening the social sphere. They were into social customs, traditions. They could go beside the topic of the language. Language, the proper language, could they learn? If more language through a text to the cup or in a text to the cup or even for a semane, Barakio Bebosta, some partner semen crop idea. Hella. It was a hard old example of Uchi. So the example of Uchi, the Jonathan Duncan, they keep. बनासुरे परचोले 1789 में परस्यूड कोर्चन्दे परस्यू कोर्चन्दे इधर राजकुमार सब बनारस को स्टॉप फीमेल इन फिफ्टी साइड कारण से डॉनकन देखो ना कि किसी से पढ़ो चंदे इंडियन सो दे शास्त्रों उड़ी का पढ़ी के से जानो चंदे दे उड़ी का सो दे शास्त्रों सम्मतन हो है तेरु सो दे शास्त्रों सोनाना मेरे से रेकमेंड क and uh, so the however he was uh, proficient in uh, so the indian linguistics and however so the uh, fort william college uh, 
uh, so they continue to train the british administrators in india and uh, the british administrators uh, so the uh, so the well, they, the british administrators were provided with the skills and ability uh, so the in indian languages and uh, they came to be familiar with indian culture and history in a more concrete basis so how ever then from 1811 onwards we find the establishment of a college in uh, so the london that is hellesbury college amar jen the indian administrative service ba is officers man ko by indian civil service ra officers man ko initially training diya jaye masuri re lal bahadur shastri academy of administration मसोरी रे ट्रेनिंग दिया जाए सेम थी जब बड़े सिलेक्शन हुए ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी सिलेक्शन कर दला लंडन रे सेते बड़े ए जो सिविल सर्वेंट मानो को से मन को पटौतला ए हेलिसबरी कॉलेज को जो जगह रे से माने पढूतले एंड यू नो दैट आज कर एग्जांपल जो दी नबा यू नो दैट सो दे मेनी ऑफ आवर कलेक्टर्स इन द डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स आर the people from outside ke punjab ro ke tamil nadu ro ke karnataka ro seman ko expect seman ko rauchi government ro ebo seman ko join karibar 6 mas bitare tar to odisha re ode punjabi lok a posting ela 6 mas bitare ta ko odia language sikhe ko padibo ebo jo din se collector daito nauchi concern district re se katak re ho ke samalpur re ho से छ मास भितरे से लोकल लैंग्वेज रे पूरा कन्वर्स हो ए बोर्ड ऑफ सेकेंडरी एजुकेशन ने गोटे परीक्षा दिए एमिले 7th क्लास ले बोल लो टाइप एग्जामिनेशन दिए ए बो ताको सितरे पास करियो को पडिबो ए बो तमे देखिबो जे गोटे कलेक्टर से बाहर आसु छि किछि जानि नि डिस्ट्रिक्ट विषय रे ता पर दिन से भाषण मारु छि भाषण मारु छि ए बो डिस्ट्रिक्ट के संपर्क करे अनेक जिनिस कही जाऊ इवेन इफ किसी हे तो तुम पाखे आपण मान पाखे सी गोटे डिस्ट्रिक्ट संपर्क किसी आईडिया नु गए कलेक्टर आट ए ग्लांस से गैदर कर दौर इनफर्मेस ट्रेन लाइक दैट से भर्नाकुला लांगुएज को शिखुची एवं तेबुल गोटे थी गेजेट इयर थी ए गेजेटियर टी गेजेटियर राइटिंग वर्चुअली डबल डबल हंटर से आरंभ करथिले 1860 मसिया रे एवं इंपीरियल गेजेटियर राइटिंग गेजेटियर राइटिंग रे सो द इंडिया बहुत आगे रे सो द एंटायर वर्ल्ड रे सपोर्टर ऑफ बेसिक गेजेटियर राइटिंग सो द अमर इंडिया रे रहि छी एक्चुअली गेजेटियर राइटिंग रो हिस्ट्री हमें अबुल फजल को टू हमें ड्रॉ करि परिबा and abul fazal gar jo aini akbari which is divided into three volumes said the set out the particularly what a gazette here to be used by the revenue officials and the officials working in the village tahsil mafsil level district level suba level uh, so the likewise se pari babare what a gazette here thai ebo at a glance se dekhini se collector dekhini se कोन एथर लोक माने गे लोक केते कॉलेज केते एरा ज्योग्राफी कोन एथे रिवर सिस्टम कोन एथर टोपोग्राफी कोन सुदी एथर हिल्स एथर रिसोर्सेस कोन एथर स्कूल्स एंड कॉलेजेस कोन यूनिवर्सिटीज कोन हॉस्पिटल फैसिलिटीज कोन सुदी इरिगेशनल फैसिलिटीज कोन हाउ मेनी डक बंगलोस आर देयर एवरीथिंग सब को विषय रे से सुदी गोटे दिन भितरे से गैदर कर दे इंफॉर्मेशन एट ए ग्लांस से वो आस्ते आस्ते से रिफाइन कर चले सो हेलिसबरी कॉलेज से रिप्लेस्ड द आस्क कोट विलियम कॉलेज इन एनी केस इनिशियली द हिस्टोरियंस एंगेज्ड सो दे दे ट्राई टू ग्लोरीफाई एंशिएंट इंडियन पास्ट एज एंशिएंट इन इंडियन पास्ट एंड दे कैटेगराइज्ड द Uh, the uh, predecessors uh, particularly the mogal rule was being described as a sort of despotic rule and uh, the whole thing was uh, generalized 
and uh, the category of oriental despotism and uh, uh, the absolute power of the despots, uh, despotic rule, despot uh, despots in the form of the Mughal rulers. And uh, uh, so the, uh, they came to understand that. Someone uh, described describe college Indians, Bharatiya Mali, despotic rules, uh, so they completely acquainted. Ebon, uh, so the age of despotic rule, uh, so the despotic rule. Ebon, se manakra, rulers manakra power on set and they enjoy so the absolute power. We find uh, the description, similar descriptions. Uh, in almost all the early uh, writings on Indian history, like that of history of Hindustan or the government and the people of Hindustan, likewise. And the people are represented as ineffectual. So, voice of the vernaculars. Voices kichinahi, ebo they are submissive in character. A feminine in character, a feminine in character. Uh, the, uh, the writers are citing examples uh, from uh, the Kali Puja. Kali Puja descriptions uh, in Naj is being celebrated in Bengal. That is why the Kali Puja perform karanti, the priest male perform karanti, semane, nijar dhuti gudi ku, a body pindi tanti dehare. Three local mane pindila bhaiya, they are a good age pinditanti. And they wanted to project themselves as a woman, a man projecting Nijaku women besare. So they project Korea Kose, China. And so, uh, so a feminine is a character, to make a feminine character, I make a very well. And uh, so the virtually. Again, another thing which is highlighted by the Orientalist historians is that uh, the marker of the progress, the marker of the development of Indian history is nothing other than religion. Nothing other than religion. And religion is the, uh, so this is the marker of Indian identity. Jahada activity, Hauchi social sphere, that is all connected uh, with religion either Hindu or Muslim, Hindu, Buddhist and later on to the Muslim. That is why in the legal sphere, this was being used by the British administrators for their own benefit and uh, they are uh, so they compiling Hindu laws and uh, Muslim laws, Hindu civil laws. And the Muslim laws and the separate uh, realms were created by them. So the, this is all about uh, Orientalism. Orientalism uh, is a sort of uh, Oriental description is a sort of description which glorifies uh, the ancient Indian uh, culture but also uh, so the, this uh, describes how the Indians are inferior to that of their European counterparts. Coming over to evangelicalism. Evangelicalism is a, is a concept, is a movement which has been rooted in England in 17th century and this uh, developed uh, on the uh, eve of uh, the industrialization and the and this uh, developed because of the rise of uh, the new middle class in England and uh, virtually evangelicalism became a, ultimately became an agency uh, so the, uh, to bring about the discipline among the people. Lokumanuko Shrunkolito Karibapai, a good cop, Bebar Karajaita. Ebo Dita Jeniso Semane, so the Dita Jeniso. Upreshmane uh, Guruto de Utle, Gote Uji, self assertion, a good Uji education, a Bogotella conversion, conversion, conversion to Christianity, a Bogotella, uh, so the uh, 
कन्वर्सन एंड सलभेसन आउ गोटे एडुकेशन जे एडुकेशन द्वारा लोक मान and uh, so they after their return to england they established a sect called as clapham sect and uh, there were several other people also and uh, they contributed significantly in uh, forming this individual evangelical ideology and uh, they uh, so they demanded the abolition of this slave trade and opening up india to Uh, so the missionary enterprises actually and also they fought against uh, fought for the abolition of sati and abolition of female infanticide and abolition of human sacrifice likewise and in any case uh, british east india company survived in india and uh, that is for one reason you know that east india company was established on the last day of 1600 AD during the time of Elizabeth, Elizabeth, and uh, you know that prior to that, uh, so the Vasco da Gama had already uh, so the uh, cleared the path for the operation of the uh, so the Portuguese East India Company and the Portuguese East India Company uh, virtually uh, after their arrival. Uh, in india along the whole of the malabar coast and the konkan coast uh, along the arabian sea uh, they engaged themselves uh, in uh, uh, so the in conversion of the people in missionary activities where they were, wherever they went they started a proselytization proselytization of the people which was not accepted by the indians in the western coast of india and for who is uh, they were the first to be removed from indian soil and uh, the british uh, uh, east india company was uh, very careful in uh, not invoking or not empowering uh, the missionaries uh, to engage themselves in missionary activities and uh, so the missionary the articles they have on stood that they condemned the indian society and culture described that the same as uh, superstitious barbaric despotic and uh, uh, so the uh, virtually the charles grant the most uh, important protagonist of the evangelical school charles grant the evangelical school uh, so the very uh, important protagonist uh, डेली indian deities which are innumerable in number and uh, so they, they are being described as the monsters of loss injustice wickedness and uh, cruelty and uh, kill the sinner not the sin was the indian motto you know that every day every year we observe kali puja festival or durga puja festival we are killing ravana or we are killing uh, so the uh, so the god uh, the various demons either by durga or by kali and we are killing the sinners not the sin and the vice versa is true in case of the christian ideals and so the evangelicals was were respectful of indian traditions and uh, 
Uh, so the uh, they wanted to carry on their activities uh, through cultivation of uh, friendship with the Indians. And uh, so the however, uh, so the they were never uh, so the uh, they were never uh, so the against the legislation part in uh, education of the people and uh, frequently they were. Uh, demanding the uh, demanding before the British Parliament that permission be given uh, for the uh, so the for missionary activities in India and uh, finally, however, legislation came in 1813 when this uh, uh, so the uh, 1813 when the Charter of Act was uh, made in Charter Act of 1813 when uh, the missionary were. Uh, missionaries were uh, missionaries uh, uh, virtually were allowed to uh, so they involved themselves in uh, so the spreading the Christian doctrines in India and in the process of the conversion of India Indian people and uh, so the however the missionaries saw a, uh, so they saw cast as a major debacle in their task of conversion. In any case, uh, so the British government was committed to the policy of non-intervention in the Indian social system and they supported caste distinctions. And later on we will find that these, uh, these diversities of Indian soil were being capitalized by the British administrators for their own uh, so the uh, for their own benefit and for the, the management of the empire and uh, so they however management of the empire and the most notable among the ideologies was the utilitarian ideology utilitarian ideology of jeremy bentankar and jeremy bentankar kotha koyvan jon sare utility or pleasure or happiness. Uh, so the state uh, should uh, take steps uh, not to look into the individual happiness or the happiness uh, distributed, but to see happiness in totality or the aggregate happiness, aggregate happiness. And so they talked about a dictum, which is uh, called as the greatest good of the greatest number or greatest happiness of the greatest number. So, the maximum happiness is And virtually this utilitarian idea was furthered by James Mill and his son is John Stuart Mill and his friends, one of his very important friends was uh, uh, so the William Bentick. William Bentick. And uh, so the, uh, like the evangelicals, uh, they were also critical of, uh, uh, critical of, uh, so the, uh, so the uh, Indian society, Indian people, and uh, they described uh, the, uh, so the Indian society as uh, primitive society, barbaric society, despotic society, and we find also religious uh, tyranny. And again, uh, so the religious uh, tyranny. And uh, so the, uh, so the, however, evangelicals let us stress on education, education and self-revelation in a changing society and uh, utilitarians uh, talked about the legislation, legislation, law theory kariba, ebo mode of taxation ko change kariba, ebo uh, virtually and the utilitarians mane reject kardele the separation of powers. Legislature would put maximum power to apply se mane uh, so the virtually recommend kale. And uh, so the more legislations are to be enacted. And the low taxes and greater happiness. So the, that became the motto. So the however, they were not in favor of uh, so the uh, so the, uh, what, the uh, they were in favor of representative democracy 
but uh, they were uh, uh, promoting representative democracy or parliamentary democracy in india uh, not in india but in their own country but not in indian conditions and they were not in favor of the permanent settlement of Cornwallis, which was introduced by Cornwallis in the year 1793, as a result of which a class of people were created in Indian uh, society. They were the Jamidar class of the people, and uh, the utilitarians were in support of because they were patronizing the police of the greatest good to the greatest number, greatest happiness of the greatest number. They wanted that individual peasants, uh, they should be uh, stabilized in their own, uh, stabilized in their own property. And uh, the their property is to be secured in any case. So that is why uh, the utilitarians have about the royal system of settlement. And uh, so, the, uh, so the, this was the further open by Malthusian theory of population, Malthus was an economist uh, who propounded his theory in 1815, and uh, this was uh, uh, the, uh, further developed by Ricardo, David Ricardo. And uh, so the, they wanted to overhaul the Indian revenue system. And revenue, so the virtually revenue is uh, described them as rent. The rent is uh, the uh, net produce. Virtually two capital investment also, agriculture rent, even jaha produce also. Even so the capital, so the gross produce minus uh, the, uh, so the minus uh, uh, the capital investment is the net rent, net rent. And uh, so they, however, and uh, virtually they were very critical of the rent holders in society because they knew that in England, uh, in England, the rent property was in the hands of the powerful aristocracy and uh, they are doing absolutely nothing for the, uh, so the development of the society. And however, so the, they, uh, virtually promoted, they virtually uh, asked the uh, government uh, to uh, take up steps uh, for the uh, so the measurement and uh, for proper settlement of revenue and measurement of the land, classification of the land, and uh, so the uh, calculate the yields of different soils, the cost of production, and the history of agricultural uh, so the prices. Coming over to the, uh, so they are the people, uh, so they who are responsible and the Lord William Bentick, he was a utilitarian and he introduced English education and also he promoted the vernacular education and uh, mission, missionary schools had already started after 1813 for the, the education uh, in large, uh, so the was developed after the Woods Despatch of 1854. And whatever developments are taken place during 19th century, particularly in respect to uh, the in respect to the economy and the condition of the peasants, so the these are due to the utilitarian efforts or the efforts of the utilitarians. And however, the Enlightenment School in uh, uh, Europe, particularly European historiography, were followed by romantic schools, romantic schools. And uh, so the, however, the romantic uh, scholars, romantic administrators like that of Thomas Monroe, Malcolm, Elphinstone, Charles Metka, so the, they romanticized uh, the uh, existing village communities in India. And uh, they never wanted uh, the republics, uh, the village communities uh, are equated, are uh, uh, so described as little republics. And uh, uh, so the, because they are getting everything, whatever they wanted uh, from within their territorial domains. And uh, dynasty for a dynasty, Asuji, uh, 
uh, so the ancient times uh, followed by the medieval times uh, different dynastic rulers asuchanti ebo moguls mane asuchanti hindu mane asuchanti pathan mane moguls mane maratha mane sikh mane english mane समस्त आसुचंती जाउचंती किंतु विलेज कम्युनिटी इन इंडिया से कंटिन्यू करूची एबो तार सुदी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक बिहेवियर कोनोसी चेंज होउ नाही एंड सो द हिनरी मैन यूज्ड दिस इमेज ऑफ द इंडियन सेल्फ सफिशिएंट विलेज एंड वर्चुअली वर्चुअली दिस इज द सेल्फ सफिशिएंट विलेज इन इंडिया इज लिविंग today in a sort of uh, living fossil living fossil so uh, side the digital and other uh, so the important uh, uh, ideology and develop that is the hello hello so the another Uh, so the uh, important ideology are developed uh, that is uh, the uh, the moral idea. Even that whatever legislation have been enacted uh, during the whole of nineteenth century, like that of uh, the uh, so the introduction of the civil service by Lord William Bentinck, the abolition of shakti, and uh, the uh, suppression of authority during the time of Lord William Bentinck. introduction of the english education in india and uh, uh, so the uh, thereafter the um, so the vernacular press act uh, the ilbert village edition and uh, so the uh, ilbert village village edition and the uh, survey of india and uh, survey of india particularly archaeological list the survey of india uh, so the uh, and very also uh, so the so uh, the and the introduction of the local self government these are all the outcome of the liberal ideology ideology in india and they are liberals uh, they are completely liberal and uh, they they developed a liberal view of indian society and uh, it uh, found its full expression in the writings of james mill then smell who had written this book history of british india you see british india india so the it is described as the british india because uh, india was considered as a province of the british empire india was like a province of the uh, british empire and uh, so the uh, so the uh, you know that uh, a sort of concept uh, like that of the provincializing Uh, the provincializing europe europe project the india like all other states were uh, developed into provinces of indian empire and uh, virtually uh, so the he wrote the history of british india he could have written uh, the given the title history of modern india but he didn't do that so the he wrote uh, he gave the title history of british india and he Uh, so the he provided a program in this book of the how to uh, take india from a uh, start of subsection and decay and uh, set it on a path of uh, progress a path of progress and uh, so the virtual uh, so the he was also uh, proclaiming and also uh, so the advocating for the purpose of for the Uh, so the for the institutionalization of private private property the introduction of the rule of law liberty of the individuals education in the western scientific uh, mode and uh, so the which was uh, uh, later on uh, so the introduced by lord william penty and uh, so the uh, principle of private uh, property and the rule of law founded its expression in the uh, in the codification of the indian law and the publication of indian penal code in 1860 and uh, so the in 1872 the criminal procedure code and indian penal code is about uh, which has outlined different offenses 
uh, offenses and criminal procedure code is a code about how to uh, so the how to tackle the laws of the state so the legal in the, uh, the codification of the pro procedural law uh, so the were introduced in india that is because of the uh, so the because of the attempts made by them mill so the and uh, so the and also we find so the british government tried to capitalize on the diversities uh, existing in indian soil that is why they took to the indian personal law and the published hindu civil law as well as the muslim muslim law and uh, side by side the, the uh, so the lord william pentic established uh, this uh, uh, mahalesh commission in हेलो सर हेलो सर हेलो यस यस सर सर तो रिज्यूम करी हेलो यस सर यस ओके in any case uh, uh, so the virtually uh, the liberals wanted uh, to create uh, uh, the to see an india uh, so the in uh, on the european model virtually they wanted to see so the as many uh, england as possible in india and outside europe and in any case uh, uh, we find uh, Uh, some of the ideas of liberals uh, being self contradictory and uh, in one sense uh, the police was made more vindictive and police was empowered with uh, military powers military powers and uh, the vernacular press act of 1878 was one of the most repressive legislations to uh, so the muzzle the indian a press and the attempt of the british particularly uh, during the time of lord ripon uh, there was uh, the ilbert bill hello yes sir yes sir please continue there was the ilbert bill hello yes sir uh, yes sir we can uh, So am I getting you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can hear you. Yes, sir. Continue again. Okay.
हेलो सर हेलो हेलो यस सर ओके शुड आई कंटिन्यू यस सर ओके थैंक यू in any case uh, most of the laws uh, relating to the uh, personal liberty freedom of press educational development and the empowering the indian people giving them uh, power in the municipal sector or uh, particularly local at the local level so and meant uh, uh, because of the because of the liberal principles which were adopted and so the for indian subcontinent and uh, then coming about to positivism positivism uh, so the is a tool is a tool it's about empiricism it is about the construction of uh, uh, knowledge uh, on the basis of the sources and the main protagonist of this uh, positivism was uh, leopold von ranke he based that without sources no knowledge can be constructed about the past and he wanted that uh, there should be total uh, he developed a various uh, modalities modalities which may be followed for uh, so the gathering knowledge and uh, uh, so the and uh, consolidating the same and uh, so the most important Uh, so the <clears throat> initially in the initial period of the east india complex history we find inquiries uh, being made by uh, the administrators to collect information about the customs uh, about the mainland relations uh, in uh, prevalent in india and uh, then we find uh, in the second category we find uh, so the writing on indian history indian past and civilization which included alexander to or about or william jones then stored and likewise then we find a lot of writings uh, so the which included on the basis of observation and we find the observational from travel modality particularly the images of india used mostly by the travelers then we find uh, large scale surveys of the whole of india about the landscape uh, geological landscape about the measurement of the land botanical specimens and the persons involved were colin mackenzie buchanan william longton and uh, surveys were undertaken then we find uh, various enumerative enumerative uh, uh, so the attempts and the particular the statistical data the census data the demographic profile uh, the social indexes which are found uh, so the uh, printed uh, in the gazetteers in the imperial gazetteers then we find uh, so the establishment of the archaeological Anjil Puri, and uh, he was the and the second person to use uh, this Madhala Panji for writing down the history of Odisha was Andrew Stanley, and Alexander Cunningham. So the he virtually. Uh, virtually motivated lord canning to establish the archaeological survey of india and then we find the categorization of the people into uh, so the uh, so the various uh, categories of the people who are identified and they were identified either as criminal tribe or criminal caste of the people we find the legislations being made thereby and the british government on the basis of the categorization of the people as that of criminal tribes or the martial races and then coming about to another important thing which uh, came into existence you know that uh, had not the british come over to india uh, the indians would not have uh, so they learned about the basics of uh, 
uh, so the modern education liberal ideas uh, so the uh, so the utilitarian ideas or uh, so the uh, so the modern inquiry systems humanism because the human is the human being is at the center of all discourses and all these things would not have figured out prominently in the uh, so the uh, in the indian in modern india and india would have been uh, so they would have remained a little africa or uh, so the uh, so they right at this time if the britishers would not have come up over to india in any case we find हेलो 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 सर कैन यू हियर मी हेलो यस हेलो 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 यस सर यस सर ऑडियो आई एम कमिंग ओवर टू द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ माय डिस्कशन एंड इन एनी केस द ओरिएंट वाज क्रिएटेड इट एनकंपास्ड अ कॉम्प्लेक्स फेनोमेना पावर डोमिनेशन एंड हेजेमोनी एंड द ओरिएंट वाज क्रिएटेड and uh, virtually uh, the indians who are taken as the others by the britishers uh, throughout the entire discourse and uh, these others on standing these others is uh, very important and uh, in order to reconstruct uh, their own identities in a european context after the british left india in 1947 okay so the with this i bring an end to the discussions thank you all for a patient listening hello hello yes sir so we can hear you yeah uh, so the is there any questions uh, from the uh, participants i hope you have understood me hello hello yes sir we can hear you sir yeah so uh, can we call it a day or uh, so the, the is there any discussions hello sir good afternoon uh, hello ha uh, sir can you describe in chapter act please Uh, actually uh, you see that uh, the chapter uh, is about uh, uh, the uh, conditions of uh, agreement between the british government and uh, east india company so chapters were uh, so they renewed uh, so the at regular intervals 
and so this is a chapter is about the conditions of the operation of east india company in india and the chapter act is a great leap forward as far as the parliamentary democracy is concerned as far as uh, uh, the uh, the expansion of the christian civilization is concerned and human liberty is concerned and human rights is concerned yeah any other doubt hello बहुत रेस्ट्रिक्शन इम्पोज कर दिया लिटन का समय जिनसिशियस न्यूज पब्लीश करे ना कौन सेडिशियस न्यूज पब्लीश करे ना दे आर टू से रेजिस्ट्रेसन कर इंटरव्यू। 